On your mark! A sea of football jerseys filled Central Park on Super Bowl Sunday. I love football. It was probably my first love. This man was one of 5,000 runners who took part in the football-themed New York Roadrunners Gridiron 4 Mile. He's training to run a Brooklyn half marathon in May. This is a good, you know, training session and it's also a good cause to have to remember to have fun and also uh, to fall back in love with football again. Super Bowl Sunday after all. During the race, runners even predicted the winner of the big game, overall choosing the San Francisco 49ers to win. And before it started, many tested their quarterback skills in the longest football throw contest. The longest throw contest, which in my opinion is better than the race, uh, came up short this year. I think the winner right now is at 55, but it's pretty awesome. I feel like everybody's hyping each other up. Organizers say this race that's been around since 1991 is a favorite among runners. The run is presented by Flag Art Foundation and organized by New York Road Runners. Over 5,000 runners on this sold out race here in Central Park that will be participating in a four mile run that's celebrating the big game. As you see here, many folks are dressed up in their favorite teams, their favorite universities, supporting football. These runners are on board. It's just the, the best race to kick off the good game and then you're just going to have a snack and everything, so it's so good. Oh my god, this is awesome. Just to see the different jerseys, regardless of the rivalry that we have through the season, we're in all season, it's Super Bowl Sunday, everybody's getting together and just cheer for whoever's on Super Bowl, your match numbers, but just to represent to the team, regardless of whether they made a Super Bowl or not, this is awesome. Many say regardless of who wins the Super Bowl, this race is all about celebrating the game of football. In Central Park, Kieran Dillon. Pix 11 News. Looks like